tonight with the Jefferson County Health Department looking into a possible cluster of scabies at Trinity Medical Center. I'm Jim Dunaway. And I'm Alex Finney. In for Sherry Jackson, WIET 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle is covering this story. He joins us live at Trinity. And Stefan, how many people are affected? Yeah, good evening, Alex. Representatives here at the Trinity Medical Center say that two of their patients have been diagnosed with scabies. And right now, they're monitoring and testing several of their employees who they say could be suspected of having the disease as well. Now, scabies are a human itch mite that uh, lives in the top layer of the skin. And according to officials, they say the disease is not spread to other patients in the hospital. And once lab tests confirmed the disease, officials say they took all precautionary measures to prevent additional cases. And of course, as required, Required, they reported it to the Department of Health. Now, we did try to reach out to Trinity Medical Center, and they said they did not want to speak to us on camera at this time, but they did release a statement, which we have in full on our website at WIT.com. Now, one interesting note about Trinity Medical Center. Pretty much soon in October, doctors and patients here will be relocating to Grandview Medical Center, a new hospital opening up off of Highway 280. I'm live in Birmingham tonight. Stefan Diggle, WIET 42 News coverage you can count on. Thanks, Stefan. We also reached out to the Centers for Disease Control to learn more about scabies, and here's what we found. The most common symptoms of scabies are intense itching and pimple like skin rash. It's usually spread by direct, prolonged skin to skin contact with a person who has scabies. The condition is treated with scab scabicides that are available only with a doctor's prescription.